Adesanya versus Anderson. Um, I'm compelled to this fight for many different reasons, some, some of which are not just a straight-up athletic competition. Some has to do with a passing of the torch moment should Anya get the jump on the spider. Many of my compulsions being drawn to this fight have to do with the spider at 43 years of age jumping in there with a guy who he is fully aware has the skill set and the mentality to run right over him and to make it painful. This isn't a grappling contest where Anderson has to worry about, well, you know, if this guy can overwhelm me with position and lock something up, I might have to tap out and go home and try to get, no, no, no. He knows full well what he's getting into. This is about punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. This is going to be a vicious battle for both guys. There is no scenario where Adesanya comes out of this thing unscathed. There is no scenario where Anderson Silva comes out of this thing feeling great that night and gets a good night's sleep. That just simply is not happening. One or both of these athletes is going to the hospital, for sure. They know it. They know the recipe. They know the skills that the other one brings. But, so great moment should Adesanya win. Tremendous courage and tremendous moment should Anderson Silva win. We all get that. But now let's break it down a little bit closer because here's the one thing that you guys are missing. You guys are all looking at Adesanya. He's the new Anderson Silva. He's the fa- he's Anderson Silva looking in a time machine, you know, a decade ago, and all these different things, which are tremendous insults to Anderson, quite frankly. I don't think he deserves that. He's a top five ranked fighter in the world. He won his last contest over a top 10 ranked fighter in the world. I mean, Anderson Silva's a straight up hammer. But why did he accept this fight? I would maintain that Anderson Silva accept this fight because he likes the stylistic matchup. Anderson Silva has never been in there with somebody that can outstrike him for a meaningful period of time. He's never been in there with somebody who is willing to play his game. Anderson has to play their game and then still finds a way to knock them out. Do you know how hard that is? I mean, have you guys ever thought about that? I know most of you aren't fighters, but you fight fans. Certainly, you you, you could at least close your eyes for a moment and imagine if you were to fight with somebody. What would you do if you were to fight with a skilled person? That for your survival, all you had to make it was a certain amount of time. You make it five minutes, a bell's going to ring. You can do that three times. They'll call the whole thing off and throw you in the back. So what are you going to do to eat up those 15 minutes? You stay the hell away from the person. Just simply stay away from them. Make sure there's distance where you can be protected. That is what guys are doing to Anderson Silva. He's so good, he's still finding a way to get his own moments in. So now imagine if you handed Anderson somebody and go, Anderson, look, guess what? Forget about the youth, forget about the speed, forget about the reach, forget about all these these dynamic things. I'll promise you one thing. This guy will come and play your game. Anderson's got to love that. He's got to sit back and go, finally, the first time. Somebody who thinks, maybe he's going to play my game because he thinks he's better than me. Maybe he thinks he can get the best of me at my own style. But either way, you're telling me for the first time in my long career, you're going to give me somebody that I don't have to outsmart, outthink, and trick for moments at a time to get them to stand up and trade shots. You're going to give me somebody who is willingly coming into this contest saying, yes, I promise to abide by those rules. We got to fight. We got something special to see. Anybody who is dismissing this contest, and I don't think there's very many of you out there. I think you're all with me and you're very excited for this contest, but anybody who is dismissing this contest as the youth versus the past, I think you're looking at it wrong. I think you are looking at two kickboxers willing to play each other's game in a shootout contest till one of them goes down. 